What's up guys, welcome back to Daniel Talks Football right here on YouTube. I'm Daniel and we are back with another video. In this video we're going to be having a look at Everton and their new, Everton, and their new ownership situation. Everton are about to be taken over by the 777 ownership group and I wanted to have a sit down and have a look at what this means for the football club today. This video was supposed to happen yesterday, however I had a 12 hour work shift, so uh, it didn't happen. Uh, before I do get into the video, please make sure to like the video, comment down below and also subscribe to the channel. Go and follow the TikTok and the Instagram Danny Talks Football on both. We've got a podcast coming out over the weekend, a North London derby preview with an Arsenal and a Tottenham fan. No guesses, no prizes of who those are going to be. Uh, but that'll be a really, really exciting podcast, so make sure you, uh, you tune into the channel to check that one out. But we're here today to speak about Everton. Because this ownership situation is a really, really interesting one. Obviously, for Mashiri, things have not been well with the Blues, with Mashiri in charge for a long, long, long time now. And, you know, the Toffees have wanted them gone. And it looks like they're going to be getting their wish. However, bringing in these, bringing in the 777, the 777 ownership group, whatever you want to call it, is not the right decision. You look at the clubs that they co they're currently owning, they're in a lot of different clubs and a lot of different leagues, and none of them succeed. Sevilla, currently battling relegation in La Liga. You'll be like, what? Yeah, Sevilla are a mess because of this ownership group. Hearth Berlin, supposed to be a massive, massive club. No, again, fallen away with these owners in charge. It already looks like they're gambling with the future. They've taken out loans to take care of day-to-day -day costs, which is crazy to think that an ownership group have to, has to take out loans simply just to be able to pay the water bill of a Premier League club. I'm really, really scared for where Everton go. I think their finances are an absolute mess and I don't think that's going to be solved anytime soon. I think they will be getting relegated from the Premier League this year, to be honest. I look at I look at these guys coming in and if it's not next year it'll be next if it's not this year it'll be next year. You know, the stadium, is there enough money to finish that off? We're not sure. You know, are they going to have any money to sign players in January? Something which they probably do need to do. We're not sure. Do they have the ability to to do any to do anything? You know, if they're having to take out loans to take care of the day to day costs, these owners are, are not good owners and they're, they're here now by the looks of it. They've still got to pass the fit and proper test, but let's be honest, if they pass that, it probably means they're not fit and proper because, well, the Newcastle owners failed that test once and they seem to be doing a. I know there's obviously issues in the background, but they seem to be doing an awfully fine job with Newcastle, and yet they failed it. Yet, yeah, you know. We all look at some of the owners that have managed to pass it in the past who just are not fit and proper. They're, they're not good. I'm worried for the state of Everton. And while I don't particularly like Everton as a football club, it's not a good way to see them go. And I think I can see them going here. These owners are not, are not good for football and they're not good for Everton at all. Yes, they're getting rid of their current toxic owners, but they're not replacing them with any good ones. And yet I think it could be... I think it could be some worrying times for the Toffees. But yeah, what do you make to the ownership situation, Everton? Let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you all again in the next video. See ya!